What's up all you supersonic warriors out there, dudes, 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 back again with more of IDW's Sonic the Hedgehog. Previously, the thrilling defeat of Surge and Kit. After Starline's attempt to take over Eggman's newly built city, Surge went on a tear with Eggman's Dynamo Cave that used Wisp powers against their will, which he used to cast capture whispers with and in a climactic battle at starline's laboratory it took the combined efforts of sonic tails eggman and metal sonic to take the pair down not so much as Surge simply overloaded herself, and Kit almost brought the entire lab down upon our heroes and villains. Sonic barely escaped with his life, and Eggman lived to see another day. But what about that city that Eggman built? What purpose was it created for? What dastardly machination does he still have in the wing? Join me as I find out, won't you? Alright, so, I'm actually going to read this on my Kindle. <laughs> Well, on the Kindle app, because I found the comic book feature, and I think it's kind of cool, and I'm just like, oh, okay, I could actually use that. Feels a lot more dynamic, and for an issue with my two slash three favorite girls involved with Sonic, I'm talking Tangle, Whisper, and Lanolin the Sheep. Adam Bryce's agenda has finally come to pass and after whispers thrashing previously it'll be nice to hopefully see her get a win in so story by ian flynn art by adam bryce thomas colors by matt herms letters sean lee editors riley farmer and david maria the story so far eggman's newly built city a city we know is overrun by badniks sonic was determined to get back because he knew it was only a matter of time before eggman unleashed whatever lies within this city beyond badniks and battle mechs okay so it involves tangled knowing about the diamond cutters Ooh. And something to do with Whisper's Law. Cool. And also, Lanolin the Sheep! Yeah! Alright, roll call. Sonic the Hedgehog, the Blue Burr, the fastest thing alive. Jewel the Beetle, Crystal Curator, Restoration Leader. Tangle the Lemur, Excitable Hero, Elastic Tailed Brawler. Or, Elastic Tailed Brawler. I don't know why I said Elastic. Whisper the Wolf, Silent Sniper. Veritable Whispun Master. And beep beep she is a sheep. Beep beep she is a sheep. Lanolin the sheep. Woolen warrior. Restoration volunteer. Welcome to the big time, girly. Alright. Imperial City. Now. I wonder what those massive crystals are all about too. We see Lanolin doing a little bit of recon with her rhythm wisp. Or more my genta wisp, I should say. And Whisper readying her Whispun says no patrol along the city limit. Lanolin says, it's almost like Dr. Eggman wants us to invade. And suddenly, shocking Lanolin, out pops Sonic in Tangle. With Sonic saying, did it be rude to refuse his invitation, right? And as Sonic runs down the hill, Tangle... <laughs> I saw this in the preview, but I still get it a kick out of it. It's her own variation of, like, the spin dash, almost, where she uses her tail as kind of like a tire to roll down the hill. That is so cool. As she shouts, woohoo, surprise attack! Much of this may of Whisper and Lanolin. Lanolin is obviously outraged, saying, do they have to be so reckless? This is serious business! Whisper simply says, much to her chagrin, that's how they are. But Lanolin is still irate, saying, Yeah, well, they need to understand they can't beat the odds forever. Yeah, this was something that was brought up that Lanolin's whole deal is that she's kind of almost neurotic, but more of a realist, with a major sense of duty going on. An interesting new personality to add to things. Ah, uh, and Whisper thinks to herself, I know that better than anyone. Uh, uh, deep, deep character lore. We pick up with Sonic and Tangle already engaged in pitch combat with badniks in the city. Sonic says it looks like the badniks are spread a little thinner than the last time I was here. I mean, considering how many you destroyed, I would hope so. Tangle continues to beat down the badniks saying, hopefully not too thin. I want a tussle. One of Eggman's boss mechs activates right behind Tangle. 
And then she looks at it, she says, oh, hello there. I love the sense of adventure she's got going on. Ooh, she just barely manages to avoid one of its spiked platforms coming down on her. All Sonic proceeds to spin dash the other one. Oh, but then Lanolin slides in with the magenta whisk going into her bell okay i was wondering about her having a new design for her bell if that was significant and apparently it is she says get behind me as the magenta whisk goes into the bell she puts up the horns yeah! with tangle obviously delighted by what she's seeing oh cool what the heck is that so lanolin picks at her flicks at her bell and it sends out what is that like an energy ball? Hmm, I'm not as familiar with the magenta wisp as the other one, but it seems almost like she sends out an orb of energy that bops away the spiked platform, much to Tangle's surprise. Out pops Whisper coming in from a high position over the bot, and she manages to blast it right in its core, with Sonic saying, ha ha, night. But... As he just barely manages to avoid the other spiked platform coming down on him. He sees Lanolin's angry face saying, um, not nice? Lanolin yells, did you two forget why we're here? Oh, flashback. We cut to Restoration HQ earlier, with Sonic sliding into Jewel's office saying, hey there, Jewel. He said you needed a favor. Jewel says, Sonic, thank you for arriving so promptly. And we see all the girls at a table. With Tangle calling out, Yo, Sonic! Sonic greets all of them saying, Hey, hey, is this a surprise party or something? I really do love the personality shown in just this scene alone. So good. Jewel then says, Please, allow me to explain. In the past, the restoration has been focused on rebuilding and humanitarian effort. Lenolin has made a case on how we can expand. Nope, this is her move to be a little bit more active. Lenolin says, we're building a rapid response team to both protect people and take the initiative against any threats we can detect. Ash, a strike force. It's an all-volunteer squad. So far, there's Tangle, Whisper, and me. With Tangle yelling out, It's good to have you around again, bestie. I've missed ya. Yeah, didn't they go off? Didn't Whisper go off in order to, you know, not put anyone in danger and Tangle follow behind her? Maybe this was a compromise they came up with. Sonic then whispers to Whisper, you feeling all right after that business with Surge? I didn't notice before, but Tangle had put her tail, you know, over to Whisper. Almost like grabbing her shoulder or something like that. And you got Whisper shooing away, telling Sonic I'm fine. Sonic adjusts his gloves, asking, so what's the favor then? Lanolin explains, we heard about your time in Dr. Eggman's new base. I want to take our team in, find out exactly what's going on there, and prepare prepare a way to bring it down. Jewel adds, and while all three of them are quite capable, this is Dr. Eggman we're talking about. I was hoping you'd lend your experience and expertise on this mission. Makes a lot of sense. This really is their equivalent of the Freedom Fighters, isn't it? Old habits die hard. Sonic says, sounds like fun. I'm in. Do you have a team name? <laughs> really? Team name? <gasps> Oh, uh, uh, I get what she's going for, but Tangle blurts out, I vote diamond cutters. Oof, Tangle, baby, I love you, but, uh. Oh, and Lanolin says, nice, that sounds cool. And Whisper has the most apprehensive look on her face I have ever seen. <laughs> the panel of Tangle just smiling at her as Whisper just seems to be vibrating with annoyance is oof. <laughs> her anger is growing <laughs> and Tangle senses that anger and sweats profusely but Lanolin then says I've been looking forward to working with you for a long time Sonic Sonic apologizes saying zero offense but I don't think we've met dude you've met on various occasions she just wasn't plot relevant Lanolin explains it was brief and you were busy she gets up explaining you saved my town of Riverside from a badnik invasion a while back remember issue one <laughs> Was that town ever actually named at that point? Maybe. I think that's all we maybe had. I think it was issue one. Or maybe it was issue two. It had Amy in it, so it was probably issue two. Yeah. Uh, the face that launched a thousand fanboys. Oh yeah, and that one outfit she had. 
where she was carrying all those papers. Yeah, I remember that. He says, you inspired me to do more, so I joined the Restoration. Soon I was working directly with Director Jewel. I love how this Magenta Wisp is just watching as Sonic does his classic taking the girl's hand thing. He He's a flirt. As he says, awesome, then it's a pleasure to meet you again for the first time. Lana Lynn says, <laughs> pleasures the pleasure's all mine and as the two walk off sonic asks when do you plan on leaving for the mission lana lynn says we're ready if you are sonic says i was born ready but cut to present day where sonic explains yeah slow and sneaky isn't really my thing tangle also apologizes saying and i'm still getting used to this whole team dynamic my bad lana lynn then asks whisper while she's obviously exasperated saying honestly how do you handle her whisper simply says i don't and as whisper passed by tangle tangle says whisper is there something we need to talk about Oop, trouble in paradise whisper simply says no that's one of those no's where it's just like yeah, we should talk about it, but I'm a little pissed off right now, so maybe another time. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it is very obvious she's upset. Tangle knows that she's upset, and Lanolin and Sonic are just like, oh, drama. But Sonic then says, so, should we keep heading into the city, or... Lanolin checks a, hmm, communicator? Saying, I'd like to assess our surroundings first. Whisper, can you send this up with your hover whisk? Man, Adam... You and these panels, just this dramatic panel of uh, Whisper sending out the Hover Wisp while Tangle is uh, all wrapped up in her tail, feeling self-conscious and stuff. I love his little minute gestures and poses for certain characters. Lanolin asks the Hover Wisp, can you take this above the city skyline? Maggie can't float that high. Oh, okay, it's Maggie the Magenta Wisp. Oh, that's cute. Uh, but Maggie looks a little, uh, dejected. Probably because they're not useful in this situation. Aw, poor little baby. It looks like a Game Boy. Huh. The Hover Wisp takes the device high into the sky, pretty much overlooking everything. Okay, so it's a two-way visual device. Interesting. Sonic asks Lanolin, so, what you find out? Oh, okay, no. The Hover Wisp brought it back down. I didn't see him because of the speech bubble. Guess maybe it took a photo or scanned the area? Lanolin says, comparing this data to your previous escape efforts, I can confirm that the city has gotten bigger. It's expanding. Oof. Tangle looks around saying, I but I don't see any construction equipment. Not even egg ponds and their funny little hard hats. Ah, uh, nice. Nice call to Sonic Colors. Lanolin tells him that's true i am working on limited data points maybe if we survey from another point in the city sonic then shouts out i've got an idea give me a boost he addresses the hover wisp Ooh, and a nice panel of the wisp joining with sonic wow we haven't actually seen that in a while huh sonic uses the power of hover to go high into the sky scoping things out himself a little bit jeez i forgot how kind of uh Honestly, a little creepy it looks when he's possessed by the wisp energy. Hmm, I'm not actually sure what he's looking at. Maybe a vantage point? A way that they can proceed forward? Sonic then lands, defusing with the hover wisp, saying, I found the spot where Metal Sonic wrecked our initial escape plan. It's not only repaired, it's like we never even crashed. Hmm. Lennon Lund says, I didn't think, Doc, think Eggman was the type to tidy up after himself. Sonic tells her, He's not. You were right. The city is getting bigger. Not only is it growing, it can heal itself. Hmm. Is it nanites? There was something like this back in the Archie days. Honestly, this whole premise is very similar to a situation where Sonic infiltrated a nano-infested city along with Bunny, Amy, Sally, and I think it was Mina. Yeah, it's actually very similar to that. Weird. Lanolin asks, how is that even possible? <laughs> Sonic simply says, no idea. Much to Lanolin's dismay. I mean, hey, he's not the idea guy, he's the action guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tangle is begging the hover wisp, please, please, please let me try that too. Whisper simply says, maybe later. Time to rest. Lanolin ponders, if the city is growing and healing like a living thing, then it needs resources to fuel its construction. Sonic also thinks a little bit, saying, I didn't see any signs of Eggman's usual mining equipment. They're like five stories tall. They're hard to miss. Tangle also adds, but the trees all around the city were in real bad shape. 
Maybe it's pulling stuff from underground? Hmm, there you go. Sonic realizes, Bell said there's a whole network of tunnels under the city. Let's check those out. Lanolin then says, sounds good. Diamond cutters, move out. Oh god, they're actually going with that name. But then she also adds, cautiously. <laughs> with Sonic and Tangles both simultaneously saying, aww. And so the team rolls out, with Sonic being very unenthused about the fact that he has to be cautious. Again, I love the personality that Adam adds to any moment he can with the characters. Lana Lynn typing away at a control panel for a lift. Sonic chilling but obviously annoyed that he's not in action. Whisper looking very reserved. And Tangle eagerly looking around. It's good stuff. Right? And as the platform slowly descends... Uh oh. There's Egg Ponds, and without missing a beat, Tangle and Whisper destroy them both. Landolin goes up against some other badniks, using her, I guess I'm gonna call it a rhythm bell. And it looks like it blasts back the badniks. Cool stuff. Ugh, man, this is an ominous area. They exit the lift, descending further into the bowels of the Egg Period. Eggpire City. A cute little image of them just going further in. They then reach a door, with Lanolin saying, This seems like the lowest point. Whisper, can you clear the way for us? Whisper says, Copy. And I have to assume she used the rocket wisp in order to blast open the door. Or, it looks like blast open the floor. Huh. And while Whisper and Sonic hold on to one end of Tangle's tails, Tangle descends with Lanolin into the bowels of, well, the depths. Ugh. Really cool shot. I love the fact that you have the little bit of light and this big blackness like anything could be down there. Lanolin then uses her rhythm bell oh, and it lights up the entirety of the other ground which shows a very cavernous area. Huh. As they're pulled back up, Sonic asks, Find anything? Lanolin says, virtually nothing, which is the problem. It's strip mining everything underneath it. It's all being hollowed out. All the minerals, nutrients, plant life, gone. Sonic thinks to himself and says out loud, I get it. The city will keep expanding. It won't stop until Eggman's paved over the entire planet. So it's more of a subtle way of taking over everything. God, I love that image of just Eggman's face in the background. You can hear his laughter from that image alone. Sonic then says, not too shabby, Eggman. This makes the Death Egg look Bush League. Lynn then, Lynn then tells him, we have to get back to Restoration HQ. Rally all the support we can and march on this place, Prano. <laughs> Sonic then <laughs> puts up his hands and says, or, and hear me out, we just do it now. We've got the team, we're in the city, and I know Eggman is in that big, ugly tower at the middle of it all. I really do love that. It's <laughs> just like, or, hear me out. <laughs> Obviously exasperated, Lanolin says, that's far too dangerous. This team is untested, and you barely escaped last time. We need to marshal more forces first. God, this sounds like a discussion between Sonic and Sally. Ugh. Sonic then asks, And how big is this city going to get while you're a marshalling? Lionel and claps back saying, It'll grow unopposed if we get taken out today. Tangle adds, Those are both good points. Uh, Whisper then says, You all fall back. I will stay and scout. But then it's Tangle's turn to clap back saying, Oh no you don't. You just had your own close call. Quit trying to go solo. We which very much takes Whisper off guard. But, uh oh. I think a security system was activated. As several bots just seemingly teleport in next to that door or whatever? Huh, what the heck are they doing? Or is it a portal? Tangle says that that's the same kind of portal thingy from Eggman's Tower, what's it? Oh, oh, right. The tower. Oh, in the middle of the ocean with the testing and all that. Oh, boy. Sonic says, you're right. We do not want to pass through that. Yeah, I just like barely got out of that last time. So that's what he's got going on here. Makes sense. We never actually had a follow-up to what he was doing out there. <laughs> Sonic tells him, run! And they all just go scurrying out of the tunnel. 
Just like, oh, yeah. There's no telling what's on the other end of all that. Sonic grabs a hold of Tangle's hand and races off as Tangle ties up both Whisper and Landolin with her tails with them trailing behind. And as Sonic goes into a mad dash, Tangle gets excited saying, this never gets old. Or, I guess that's the way she puts it, this never gets old. Woo! Yeah. But what's waiting at the for them back at the lift? A bunch of bad necks with Sonic saying, Ah, an ambush. Lovely. He tells the girls, elevator's out of service. Hang on tight. This is going to get bumpy. Is he going to race up the shaft? Yep, he races up the shaft. Bopping bad necks along the way. And as they go racing up the shaft, Tangle kicks a few bad necks and Lendlin unleashes her rhythm bell. Whisper fires off a few shots with her laser as the portal is quickly trailing them up the shaft. They then manage to make it up to the surface with Sonic jumping out. Oh, but a bad nick manages to smack Sonic's hand away from Tangle's and all all he can do is watch as they fall back into the portal. Oh man. All three girls go through the portal, with Sonic only just barely managing to dodge out of the way. Man, Adam, I love the way you depict Sonic. It's very reminiscent of a lot of the stuff from Spaz. He just barely manages to dodge more badniks coming in after him. He then looks behind him saying, oh, come on. Seeing that he's now surrounded by badniks, with all he can do being to escape and find some cover. He then uses a wrist communicator that I didn't know he had and speaks into it saying, hey, Jewel, turns out I'm a lousy chaperone. The diamond cutters are in trouble, and I'm kinda surrounded. I don't say this often, but I could use some help. Next time, reinforcements arrive. And who are those reinforcements? None other than Tails and Amy. Looking forward to it. It's good to see some Tracy artwork. Feels like it's been a hot minute since we've actually seen him on anything. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad Lanolin finally got to show off who she is, and that's kind of what blanket. <laughs> but every party needs a pooper, that's why they invited you, party pooper. But she's fun. I also love her ability. It's cool. It's cute. It's quirky. I ain't mad at it. And I just love this city. I love how much trouble it keeps giving Sonic. It's very much akin to like a final boss level. You know, very much like um the Eggman land in Sonic Unleash. Um, the Eggman fleet at the end of Sonic Heroes. Like, those really tough levels that it's just like, oh my god, this is a lot. But I have to wonder, where did Tangle, Whisper, and Lanolin end up? I hope they're okay. I hope that's not all we see of them. <laughs> but I do love the fact that Lanolin was kind of right in saying, yeah, we need backup. We don't know what we're getting into. And considering you had a hard time with this last time you were here... I don't want to take the chances. It was very Sonic Sad AM. Which, let's be honest, ever since the Resistance slash Restoration was introduced, that's all anybody's really been saying. But I really do have to wonder, is this place solely for producing badniks? Or is there more to it than that? I also want to say, oh, Adam's art, baby. The only thing that gets me sometimes is he draws the girls just a wee bit on the busty side. Like, even Tangle got a little bit more kind of going on in certain places, if you know what I mean. And man, are they really gonna stick with the name... The Diamond Cutters, like, oof, oh boy. The Lendolin was tough, tenacious, and she actually makes for a really good addition. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What did you think about Lendolin the Sheep's major comic debut? In a certain sense. How did you feel of this new team formation? The new Diamond Cutters 2.0. Are Tangle and Whisper gonna talk about their emotional issues? How do you feel about Sonic needing backup? We've already been shown that he's had some trouble with this place before, so I don't mind him having that a bit of trouble again, but I want to hear from you. Also remember to subscribe, that way you don't miss out on more content, and until next time, I've been Dizdin, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, Bye bye